All right. Hey kiddos, welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. We're right outside Mr. Clark's mansion. He's got a big fucking house. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors. And you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today? Typical. Why don't you come back when you're ready to actually make a delivery? There's nothing to see here. Move along. You know, that's just the sort of thing folks say when they're trying to hide something. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. So I can either go guns blazing or I can do this understand in a way that's peaceful. Until you free yourself from the desire for an answer. Hey, 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 stand back. You, I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail. And that means you got to keep five feet back. Yep, you're looking at the minister's newest personal guard. <laughs> right here. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all it's all very high level. That's a great idea. I'll have a spectrum vodka. Here's to me. <laughs> hey, you're really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow, you've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. You sure sound like you know what you're talking about. Okay, here goes. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to be sick. Sure. I just need to sit down. Oh, okay. Might as well grab the parcel just so I can have more options. I'm really liking this game. I like I like the 
Fallout system that they have going here. Because it's like, I like doing the jobs for the people and then getting the prizes and the rewards and it's just a good feeling. It makes me feel like I'm useful. And you know what? I'm happy that I stopped comparing this to New Vegas because this is, it's a lot, it's, it's on its own, it's on its own level. I think I'm as drunk as that fucking guard was. Holy shit. But this is on its like own level of fun. It's really short if you're not doing what I'm doing. This has taken me at least a few, a few weeks to beat. Because I'm collecting one of each weapons. And I, a lot of my friends have said that this sucks. Because it was too short and it didn't have enough in it. And you know there's two DLCs coming out now. And they might be coming to Game Pass too. I'll sue every technician and employee who's ever touched this damn device. Don't they know who I am? There's a lot of trash here, most definitely. I didn't even know you could come down here, what the hell? I thought this was just decor. What? A secret entrance to Minister Clark's house? Wow, look at me being smart but stupid at the same time. I just found a secret entrance. Good on me. Good on me. Look at me, I'm being expert smart. What was that? going what was that? Nice with us on my way She was going to be in the way. It took care of the problem. Is there anything in Mr. Clark's house? Second floor, there's a book. Looks like we're doing this. Ah! Yeah. Oh, I guess we're not stealthing anymore. Yeah. Oh, that's the last of him. What? Huh? Heads up! I just failed to meet with Sophia Quest. They don't like me. I think I've shoot on sight. Let me see. You are now kill on sight. Yep.
How did you get in here? It's called don't fucking worry about it. You! You just slaughtered those guards, and for what? To speak with me? What could possibly be so urgent? I don't know if I trust this so-called minister fella, if that is his real name. Minister Clark, what a remarkable honor it is to meet you. If this is about another Aetherwave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Have I not made myself clear? Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. Then you're not part of Rockwell's PR team. That means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? Finally. High time we got the recognition we deserve. And so affable. Why, you're nothing like the crazed hooligans the board loves to caricature. But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? Okay, I like him already. Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. I ain't buying it, boss. I said we're checking for drugs. Will that be all, then? Oh, dear. I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again. Who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. So the chairman's a crook who can't be trusted? Who knew? Please, this is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. If by look for details, he means knock things about and take what we like, count me in. That's certainly one way of doing things. Far be it from me to dictate your methods. Captain, we must investigate Rockwell. An injustice like this cannot go unchecked. Indeed, it cannot. I can't overstate the urgency of the matter. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of dissident, Hunter. Are you not? We're talking about busting into the chairman's office here. We're discussing industrial espionage, legal redress, the possible salvation of Halcyon. Is this not exhilarating? Also, this is the longest conversation I've had with someone else in quite some time. I can see how that's exciting. At any rate, I'm glad to have someone else on my side. I dearly hope I'm not imagining this. Now we've got to get into the HHC. That's in the Acropolis District, along with the other major corporate and government facilities. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. Up your ass? I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. Obviously, the chairman surrounds himself with the cream of Byzantium's elite. There are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. 
Wait. Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. Good. Halcyon is in dire need of someone like you. I like him. I like him a lot. He's a kind soul. He's just in a lost place. He seems to be like... He's stuck in a power of position. A position of power. People think you hate him, and then when you play the game and you hear his name, you're like, Oh, he's another fucking board lackey. And then you talk to him, and you realize that he's one of the good people, but he's stuck in a position of power that forces him to to stay with the bad stuff, I guess you could say. That or Chairman Rockwell is using his name for bad things. I really hope Mr. Clark stays alive through this game, because he seems like a good, gentle soul. Also, I'm going to kill every single board guard that I see on my way to the uh, HHC. What? What's up, boss? What's up, fucker? Thanks for the key to his estate that I already have. I'm not killing any bored civilians, just... Karate chop. I missed. Oh, where'd your body go? Did, he, did the body fall off and land in the river? I think it did. I think his body fell off and landed in the river. You must hey guys. Joking. Looks like we're doing this. Watching their bodies fall. Why are you guys just killing random civilians? What the fuck? It's like a pet kitted. It's called a teacup. What? Hey, fuckers. You do no damage to me. Double kill. Stun stick isn't gonna do jack shit when you're dead in the face. Incoming. Oh, hello. I can't pick- I already tried to go and get the pink slip, I- I made a new save. Yeah, he, uh, he becomes hostile instantly. Okay, so I missed two weapons. That's alright, at least I know. Hey, get the pink slip before you go and 
uh, rescue Minister Clark, because the board will already try to kill you, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But, oh well. I'm ready for him. And... Fight! Life was merely an illusion anyway! Percival. Oh, there he is. Nope, he still dies. Damn it. Uh... Impressive as always. There we go. So what's in here? There's nothing in here. What's with the big hole in the wall? I'm assuming they were tearing the wall down so they can add more room. This piano is playing itself. Oh dear, what a view. All you could see is a city. And after that, just endless skybox. He doesn't have any money in here, are you kidding? There's an enemy nearby. Oh, that's cool. The reflection of the item is in the, uh, and then it disappears. That's whack. I didn't notice that. That's pretty neat. population in the long term. Everyone will die. 
everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Well, the board's not on my side. Oops. This? This is just evil. Well, that was some quite distressing information. Are you free to talk? Sure. If I still believed in the grand plan, a revelation like this would have seriously shaken my faith. Knowing you, I can only assume you have already begun formulating a plan to deal with this. So tell me, what are we going to do? Yes, of course. And when you do, you can count on me to back your play. Your ability to get out of tight situations virtually undetected hasn't failed us so far. Anything you'd like to discuss? Wait, was there anything else on the computer I could see? I can replay the presentation. I'm gonna try. I wonder if I just figured out a, a speedrunning technique is where you take a knife and then you block and you run at the same time. I couldn't tell you, but it sounds like I did. I wonder if I did. I'm so sad. I can't get Clive's cleaver or the pink slip. I missed two weapons. Nah, it's fine. It's not all bad. I mean... I know how to fix the problem. And I have a save... 
for going back. Yeah, right there. That's the save we're going to use when we get uh, to the DLCs. Because we will be level 29. We'll be 28. We'll be level 28. We'll be really strong. What and then with the, the extra levels. Game. I missed it. I didn't know you still care about Tossball Max. But with your grand spiritual awakening and what all. I don't. But I know you do. You know me, Max. I'm satisfied so long as the darlings get a proper clobbering. Which they most certainly did. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. I wonder if we're ever going to go back to Earth. I wonder if that could be a cool DLC is where we go back to Earth. But you could choose any city in the entirety of Earth. But what would be a good DLC? Because... I don't know how many cities you choose. That would have to be a big game if they had to do like a bunch of major cities. And it would depend how big the map would be. I know two of the DLCs are going to have to do with solving a murder. Watch this. Nice. More where that came from. That guy just got fucked. I chopped that dude's arm off. Kick. Nice. You like that? And then you even mingled his body trying to stand up. Oh, I have a disguise. The hell are you? Wooly cow. Go. Hey, stop that. What do you think you're doing? Ah, just be careful next time. What? Now that's whack.
No visitors allowed, citizen. I'm gonna need to see some identification. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> what? I don't need to see your identification. Move along. Was that? Oh, look at that Star Wars reference. Look at that. I just used the Jedi mind trick in the Outer Worlds. Here we are. How the fuck do I get down? Great work. I just killed everybody in here. Everyone in this room just died for this. Sorry guys. I will cry about that for five minutes. But we got our universe to save. I just left a trail of death. Look at all these dead bodies. It doesn't look like a lot, but it's a lot. I like that call out. Jackass is incoming. No witnesses. I'm kidding. All the witnesses. I need them to know the uh, the power that I have. You want to fight? Felix. You get contorted. Well, this weapon shop is now unavailable. And nobody's getting the pink slip now. Run away, you coward.
Okay, one citizen had to die. But that's the only citizen I'll ever kill. I wanted to push her in the elevator and then ragdoll her body in the elevator, but I guess I can't do that.